welcome back. Today we got a cool little project. We are going to bed the rail to the action. A couple simple things. You'll need some release agent. Now I happen to have some Brownells release agent. This works really good. You can use other things too. Um, kiwi shoe polish, grease, all kinds of weird stuff, but I prefer this. Uh, if you have kids, uh, don't let them see you take it, but get some Play-Doh. And then, of course, the uh, this happens to be Brownells. Um, this is for glass bedding. So I had some left over. I'll also be doing the uh, stock with this stuff here. So we're going to mix this up and <clears throat> and get, uh, get some holes plugged, and well, we'll go through it. But the reason why we're doing this, when you... When you mount this on here, oops, if you, uh, if you screw down, shoving this all the way forward toward the muzzle, if you screw down the front here, and you have a slight gap at the back, which is, I was trying to get a, a good shot, but I can't, I just can't get a good shot of this. Anyways, there's a, just an absolutely minimal gap in here, but there is a gap. The same thing can be said if you screw the back down and have a gap in front. Now, I don't have a gap in the front, but I do in the rear, and actually that's that's the most common is to have the gap in the rear. Don't know why. Um, if somebody does know why, leave a comment. Uh, anyways, so what we're going to do is we're just going to bed the rear and just take up that real minimal little gap back there. So let's get to it. Okay, so I threw some tape over here. This is where I'll mix up my uh, glass bedding. Uh, first thing we want to do though is get this action coated with this release agent. And it's okay to get it down in the holes. Nothing wrong with that. Anything you can do to prevent, uh, prevent this thing from sticking to the action. I usually go fairly generous with this stuff. And I also go a little bit beyond where the uh, scope base is going to mount. Just because if I have any squeeze out when I'm cleaning it up or anything like that, I just don't, I just want to make sure that nothing's going to stick. You can do two coats if you'd like. It doesn't hurt anything. But with the Play-Doh, you don't need much. Just a tiny bit. Just uh, roll it up into a little piece here, probably even smaller than that. All I'm going to do is set this down in the hole here. Now, <clears throat> this could be argued, but I don't mind if a little bit sticks up and squishes out because there's still a, a large amount of contact surface there. So to me, it's never really been a big deal. But if you want to trim it off and make it look a little neater, you can do that too. All that does is gives me a little bit of a barrier around these larger holes here. And one thing that we're going to do is is we're we're not going to put or we're one thing we're not going to do is put uh, any screws in the back here. We're simply going to mount this on here and tighten the front ones down. We're not going to torque them, we're just going to snug them down. So next step, uh, let's get this resin mixed up here real quick. So I forgot to mention, this is, uh, this is the Acroglass Gel. Um, I like this stuff because it does not get a bunch of air bubbles in it, so it's pretty nice to work with. You also don't need a lot of it either. Let me just get this mixed up real nice. Again, you don't need a lot of it. The the coating on 
you know, up underneath here is going to be so thin. Um, we're probably only talking one to two thousandths of an inch, and you know, a lot of this is going to squish out. So you just you just don't need a lot. So don't don't waste it. All right, I've got uh, I've got my stuff over here mixed up, my glass bedding, and what I'm going to do here real quick though is I'm going to just go ahead and do a real quick second coat of the release agent on this and I'm also going to put some of the release agent over the top of the clay just a little bit I just don't want to if you've ever got if you've ever done any glass bedding before and you missed a spot or didn't get enough release agent on um, you you hate yourself it is absolutely miserable to try to get stuff apart that stuff is so strong so I'm gonna err on the side of caution here and I'm just gonna go with a second coat all right we'll let that dry real quick and we'll get the uh, bedding onto this piece here we got a I gotta go grab some uh, rubbing alcohol real quick. I want to make sure that there's absolutely no uh, no residue on this at all. Uh, and rubbing alcohol works pretty well. Or if you have like uh, brake cleaner, throttle cleaner, things like that that uh, that have no oil in them. Uh, now some of the throttle cleaners do. Uh, so and actually some of the brake cleaner does too. So anyways, just whatever you have have available that has no oily residue left over. Uh, will work fine. So I'll get this cleaned up here real quick and we'll uh, let this dry. Okay, clean this up, the rail up here. I also went ahead and put uh, just a couple little plugs of uh, Play-Doh up inside there. So now, oh and by the way this uh, Acroglass gel has a quite a long working time stays quite pliable hope you can hear me over the train um, so now we're just gonna start working this on here just real gently trying to keep a very thin layer so that uh, I don't have a bunch of squeeze out problems we're gonna get some squeeze out anyways I just don't want a bunch about all it should really take right there. Now here's the tricky part. <clears throat> Getting this on here without making a mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get this lined up. Now I'm not touching the back here. I'm only touching the front. I've got the back raised up. And I've got my holes lined up there. So I'm just going to try to get one of these screws started. Just really take your time with this. You'll be happy if you do, or happier if you do. Okay. Now, this is probably the most important part, aside from plugging your holes, is making sure this rail is shoved all the way forward toward where the muzzle would be. Now what we're going to do is just very gently snug these down. We're not torquing them. I'm only using this side here with my finger just to just to give it just a little bit of pressure here. Not a lot. And that's it. So now we have some cleanup work to do. Most of the time you can just take a Q-tip here you want to come on the inside of the action because <clears throat> some of that stuff is a mess inside there too so we want to wipe that out and 
it's always good to have a handful of these handy here. Then we're going to come right down the side here. Down this side over here. And I've noticed if you take a swiping action like this, it balls up, but it doesn't smear it everywhere. And right across the back here where some squeezed out. Spin it just a little bit there. Okay, now you can see that that is all nice and cleaned up on both sides. Cleaned up on the back there and hard to see, but it's also cleaned up on the in inside here up underneath here. So now we're going to let this sit for about nine hours. Um, at nine hours I should be able to uh, pop this off here. It's not totally cured for 24 but at nine it's completely workable. So um, well good morning everybody. We were going to let this sit for about nine hours but uh, it's been a little over 12. Not a big deal, but uh, let's pop it apart. Didn't come apart too bad. Let's grab a pick. Just want to make sure that uh, we didn't get anything down in our screw holes here. Looks like we're clean on that one. And we're clean on that one there too. So we'll have to get the uh, the Play-Doh out. That's not really a big deal. And take a look at this here. Let's pull the Play-Doh out of this. Yep, we're clean through. You get this film here. This is the that's that release agent. So. That's basically what you're looking at, but it's just, it turns out really, really nice. Let me get this cleaned up. Okay, we got it all cleaned up. So, that's kind of what it looks like. I did just take a little bit of some real super fine sandpaper and just kind of went across that just to get that uh, release agent off of there. So I, it may have some scratchy looks to it, but it's actually not, it's not really scratched. So, anyways. That's what it'll look like. Got this all cleaned up. Right here, there's just a real small little ledge, and I left it there on purpose. Because when you drop this on here, it's got this machined ridge. Now it has the glass bedded ridge. And you could take it off if you want, but I can't move this backward or forward now. So let's uh, screw this thing down here see if I can see any daylight under this back side. Okay, so we've got that remounted there now. I used to be able to see just a little bit of daylight underneath this when I held it up to the light, so let's take a look. No movement, no daylight. I'd call that a good job. I'm happy with it. So, hey, I hope this helps you guys out. So, if you like it, Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family or whoever, and uh, um, also I'm going to leave a link below if you guys are, you guys and gals are interested in any of these uh, uh, vinyl stickers. West Desert Shooter below, uh, I'll put a link to his email address. I get some for a real good deal out to you. So, um, all right, now we're going to wait for more parts to show up. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.